What's up guys and welcome to another episode with Dark Horse Rowing. Today we're talking about the three types of workouts that you can really program for the rower. Also, side note, I have no idea why I'm wearing sunglasses. I'm in the shade. So let's talk through these workouts. But first, if you guys haven't joined us before, my name is Shane Farmer. This is Dark Horse Rowing. What we talk about here is explaining everything that there is to know about indoor rowing, the indoor rowing machine of any kind, any brand. We're here to help make it clear for you. Whether you're a coach or an athlete, we'll be able to explain it to you. So if this is your first time, consider hitting that subscribe button and that little bell next to it to make sure that you guys get alerted for any video that we come out with. You can have learning workouts, capacity workouts, or fun workouts. Now, when I'm programming, this is really the way that I'm thinking. Am I structuring a workout based on learning? A learning workout is a workout where I may challenge you to some kind of potential failure so that you can learn something about yourself on the machine. It doesn't have to be failure, but the objective of the workout, you would create some kind of learning event, meaning I ask you to go 80% for a 2K. Why is that a learning workout? Well, because I am asking you to feel what 80% feels like for 2,000 meters. Now, when I give you a 2K test, I am going to ask you to go 100%. If you've done it at 80, you know what 80% feels like. Therefore, you have some kind of base for understanding the difference between 80% and 100%. I would consider that a learning workout. So that's the first workout type. The second is going to be a capacity workout. Now, these are the workouts that are gonna create really the meat and the potatoes of a program. So if I'm trying to accomplish a very specific goal, you're gonna get a lot of capacity type workouts. Now, capacity is going to be both long and short in duration, but the goal being that I'm thinking about the different energy systems of the body, and I'm trying to develop those for you. So if you're programming different types of workouts for a specific purpose, you're living in a lot of that capacity range. Now also keep in mind that all three of these can be independent, but they can also be intertwined inside of one workout. So is an 80% 2K not a capacity workout? No, right? They can be both. You're getting capacity done. However, the priority can live in one of these ranges or the other. Now the third type of workout would be a fun workout. Many times these are just going to be your throwdown workouts, the workouts that are truly just challenging and you might do them with a friend and it might be a challenge that you throw out to a friend or maybe it's just a 2K. Now, is a 2K fun? Ah, that's questionable. But at the same time, a 2K can be fun if you know that you did X last time and you did better this time. Or maybe you throw out to a friend, uh, hey, we're gonna do 12 by 250 meters and let's see who can do it in the fastest amount of time, right? who can keep the lowest average split across these. We would consider that a fun workout simply because it's meant to create a bit of enjoyment in the way that you are using the machine. So that would be your third type of workout. So again, what do we have? We have learning, capacity, and fun workouts. Again, they're not mutually exclusive, but when you are writing workouts for yourself or creating some kind of program, these are three things that you can use to evaluate your workouts and determine if you're covering a nice broad spectrum of workouts that makes sure that they are engaging and fun for you. So guys, those are your three workouts. Again, if you guys are here for the first time, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can tune in with us for all of our videos. Guys, thank you for joining us. As always, we will see you on the other side.